man, natural born creator. Success or failure is caused more by mental attitude than by mental capacities. Dr. Walter Scott, President Northwestern University. As thought is creative and perpetuates its own likeness, we are natural and inherent creators throughout our lives. After survival, there is nothing as vitally important to our well-being as that of learning the effects of our thoughts. As this knowledge is still not widely known, most of us were taught in negatives instead of positives. It was, don't forget, instead of, remember to. Thus, programming two negatives and setting the stage for a poor memory. We were told, you're going to catch your death of cold, instead of, wear your coat and stay warm. In this manner, our destructive thought patterns are passed down through the generations. This is reflected in alarming rates of illness and undesirable behaviour. We should become keenly alert to the quality of our thoughts and know that they are creating their very likeness in our experience. As natural born creators, we should groom our attitudes, which are thought patterns that have become habitual. Attitudes are emotionally charged, living, active forces that constantly reflect their qualities in our lives. We do not normally think of ourselves as creators. We do not recognize that all our mental activity is perpetuating its quality and creating our destiny. Though the true nature of life is mystical, for all practical purposes, it could be rightly said that life is for growth and enrichment. And the more we can learn of our creative nature, the brighter and more fulfilled will be our lives. In the creative state, a man is taken out of himself. He lets down, as it were, a bucket into his subconscious and draws up something which is normally beyond his reach. He mixes this thing with his normal experiences and out of the mixture he makes a work of art. E. M. Forster End of this chapter